Hello, I'm Robert Street, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the installation of the Dung Beetle Crane Universal Conversion Kit onto, a, in this case, a Harbor Freight two-ton engine hoist, or as they're commonly known, a, a, a cherry picker. And here you see all the components of the Dung Beetle Kit and what you'll be uh, dealing with. It's strictly bolt-on. There's no drilling, no cutting, no, no welding, anything. Strictly bolt-on, simple tools. And uh, here's the pieces of a, a Harbor Freight two-ton engine hoist kit as you would receive it as Harbor Freight, less the the uh, caster wheels, the six that would come in this kit. They're not shown because I don't particularly use them. First off, uh, this is our um, tow, tow bar assembly for the dung beetle. So you see the, 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 the two hose here. Now, it's a simple procedure. Uh, here's your, your coupler. This is a one and seventh eighth inch ball coupler that comes with it. Uh, install your two bolts. These are 14 millimeter. Just simply slide them through. And now uh, on the back you have a, a castle nut. Uh, you have two of them, and also 14 millimeter. And put those on. And I go ahead and tighten those up. All right, get them good and snug. And now give you a good view of that, what that should look like now. You see it's very simple. Okay. Next uh, in your box you'll find your your dolly wheel. Now this is mildly disassembled simply for shipping. Uh, you know. So you have a, an axle and uh, there's, there's a big hole and a little hole in this bracket. So through the big hole uh, one spacer. Now put your wheel on. It doesn't matter which way you go. You have a second spacer. Put that on. Uh, slide that on through the, the smaller hole there. Now get your nut. Now this is a, a 15 sixteenths and a three quarter to tighten this up. So get that taken care of. And uh, there you have it. So it's just a swivel caster. It's an eight inch swivel caster with an air up pneumatic tire. <clears throat> so lay that aside. Next, uh, okay, we're going to back it to the, our 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 tow tube here, our hitch tube. We take our caster wheel and one of the round-headed bolts, it has a square shank on the bottom. You slip it through any hole on the caster and either of the two holes you'll see. And this goes on from the bottom side. So if you're viewing the dung beetle sticker on the side, make sure it's it's up and you're on the bottom. So I'm slip that in and uh, put, uh, you know, again, you have a castle nut and It'll come with a washer there. I don't think I actually put it on there. I'll put it on there in a second. All right. So get your second bolt. That'll be another one of the round-headed bolts with the square shank on it. And, uh, turn it in a triangular pattern here. And then put in your second bolt and, and through the tube. And it'll slip down into a square shank there. And you don't even need a wrench to hold it on the bottom. And put your washer and nut on the other side. And again, that's a 14 millimeter. Go ahead and tighten those up. Get them nice and tight, and now your uh, your tow hitch is is ready, and you can just uh, set it aside for the moment. And uh, this is uh, the Harbor Freight, one of the legs of the of the the Harbor Freight lift, as it would come. And uh, this is a, a caster wheel. That, uh, they come with six of them, and only two of them are installed. And in, each leg has one installed. And you'll actually be removing this if you have that model and you can save the bolts because we're going to reuse them again here in a minute and you see this pattern this is a, a standard universal pattern for almost any engine hoist stand or cherry picker or anything that's using caster wheels so if if your uh, the cherry picker you're looking at to use has caster wheels chances are this will fit it and you'll see here this is your your wheel axle bracket uh, it has that same pattern drilled into it but it has a, a slight angle to uh, adjust for the pitchfork design of the the cherry picker leg. This will straighten the the axles back up and allow your wheels to be mounted and and be in a straight forward pattern. It has a uh, a few degrees of adjustment to it, so to, you know a few differences and a few different engine hoists can a little bit of adjustment go there. So now you'll be using the same bolt she used. I like to put the bolt in from the 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 leg side up through the bracket. And then you'll put the large washer on it, and a lock washer, and then a nut, and you see uh, all four of them. And uh, it, 
you should have about a half inch of the bracket protruding on the outside of the leg. If you look at that leg and it has that uh, that sticker on the side of it, uh, and then here's your good shot of it. Um, uh, okay, now we're going to take our, our our 13 inch wheel. Here's our, our axle. Go ahead and poke your axle uh, through it on the have the valve stem on on the outside. And your kit will come with either these three large washers or a, a spacer. Either one. Uh, put them on here now. And uh, you will just on the side of your axle bracket. There's a five eighth inch hole, and on the outside, and just just poke it through enough to and angle it up the best you can to put this. Uh, this nut on, it's kind of tedious, it's on the inside, especially if you have large fingers like me. So but go ahead and, and get it started there, it should go on pretty freely. And Turn it on the outside here and uh, run as many threads as you can through. And once you get a few threads uh, sticking out the other side in there, you can poke it on through the, the other hole over there. And uh, if, it, if it's giving you problems, you can put a flat tip screwdriver up underneath it and it'll hold it steady. And you'll run it through to, you know, about an inch of thread will be showing. and Leave about the depth of a dime on the outside so uh, <clears throat> your, your wheel doesn't bind up. And go ahead and put your nut on the outside. And while holding it on the outside of the wheel, stationary with a 15 sixteenths, you go ahead and tighten it up from the inside. And you can see what it looks like there. Uh, you want your wheel to be able to turn freely. So you don't want to get it too tight and make sure it's not in a bind. And it should look like this when it's all done. And uh, <clears throat> all right. How's that looking to you? Okay, you should be seeing something just like that. Now you want to do that to the both sides and make sure your wheels freely. There we go. So this is looking very good. So if you got this, you're good. There's you a few various views of how it should look. Now here we have uh, the Harbor Freight uh, two-ton lift laying on the floor, and here's the the two legs with the dung beetle wheels and brackets attached. And we'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> the the side you see me working on now I will refer to that as the left side so your brackets will be marked for left and right that will be in the left side all right uh, you put them in with the pins and uh, it's straightforward there's a pin on each side and put this one in and get your pins in and then you have the safety cotters to to put on those go ahead and put all those in place All right, okay. Now I'm going to turn this around. This is the bracket, the hat bracket that will be holding your your uh, toe hitch in place. Now you see the here's the hat bracket. You have two very large uh, U-bolts. You wrap a U-bolt around the front center of the the, the lift, and uh, put the hat bracket on it. And you have a large washer, a large flat washer, and then a a lock washer, and then the nut. Those nuts are three quarter inch. So there's there's one for each one of those, and put them on there, and just run them down with your fingers, and uh, then you have the same on the other side, another U-bolt. Run that up through there, and your large flat washer, lock washer, and then your nuts. And like I said, there's your three quarters. Now do not tighten them because yeah, not quite ready there yet. All right, this is how that should be looking. Now we take our uh, our. Our, our hitch tube that we put together earlier and we just slide it right in there slide it to the back edge and I like to use an impact it uh, speeds things up if you don't have one it's not necessary but uh, you want to get these uh, very tight right here uh, if you want numbers they can be tightened around 100 120 foot pounds of time and I just sock it to them you're not gonna break them they're heavy, heavy duty all right at this point uh, it's a it's a roller it, uh, let me get this wooden block out of the way you see it now. Uh, it uh, it'll roll as freely on grass as you see is here on this this concrete. Okay. Next thing we'll do. This is the main uh, mast of the the Harbor Freight uh, two ton lift. Now uh, don't don't put it on backwards. I, I'm guilty. I've done that a time or two. So uh, the uh, the the holder for the uh, the pump handle, which you'll you'll see there on the on the some, which side is that? You can see it anyway, uh, to the right of your screen. Uh, make sure that's the side in. Uh, I like to put the bolts up through the bottom, and you'll see here why. Because uh, coming through the bottom, you can set that uh, mast on it and just tilt it a little bit, and it'll hold that bolt while you put the washer and the nut on. And 
Just run it down finger tight. Now you're safe. It's not going to conk you in the head at that point. Huh? Go ahead and bring your other bolt up through the bottom. And these two bolts are the only two in this Harbor Freight kit that are a 7 8 inch. So they're different from the rest. So like I said, don't tighten those yet. It'll make it easier to put all the other bolts in. All right. All right. Next, we, uh, we have these two uh, side braces, these long red pieces here. And uh, let's get us one of those. And we have this handle here, this push handle, and it, it'll be one of the, the longest. It'll be one of the longest bolts in the kits. All right, excuse me. Come unplugged. All right, uh, you run it through there, and uh, the, the brackets, uh, those brackets, they go on the outside of the handle. So that's pretty simple there. Uh, get your nut on it. And uh, they're dangling there. Now you come down to the bottom. Uh, the second longest bolt in the kit goes through this hole right here. And through one of those brackets, put your nut on it there. And, uh, run it on down finger tight. And the uh, same thing on the other side. And, and here, this is your your ram jack. Now uh, you'll see the, the pump handle side where it is. And that that's how you want it. You don't want to put it on backwards. Yeah, but uh, there you go. You get you a, a bolt through it. And your nut, and you can lean it back, and it, it ought to be fairly safe. Now, this is uh, your your top uh, main heavy duty piece. They're kind of heavy, so you know, be ready. And uh, this will be the longest bolt in the kit. Uh, get up here, and you have to raise it up fairly level to get that bolt to go in. Let's see, as you see me going in there. Okay, now slip that on through, and uh, let her down easy. Don't want to pinch yourself or nothing. All right. Uh, now this is the second shortest bolt in the kit uh, you raise that sh pump that shaft up a few times which I've already done there and go ahead and just uh, put it through right there and as long as you have your your safety valve closed on the jack it's not going to come down at this point and you put a nut on it and uh, hmm, it's getting pretty close at this point and you still have all your bolts loose now this is the uh, this comes with the Harbor Freight uh, lift this uh, it's an extension now this extension has a, uh, a an oval shaped hole at the end where the hook goes in and it they point it down and bring the hook through it I prefer to point this hole upward instead of downward and uh, I'll show you why here in a second uh, now this is your your 30 inch extension which comes in your kit there, there are longer extensions but this one comes in the kit now you notice that, that on top uh, one side here, there, about five inches up, there is a threaded hole with a, a bolt. Now, slide this in uh, with that hole I talked about pointing up, and you right there, you can uh, put that bolt in to, to hold that in place. And um, I prefer to put it upward. That way, you don't even really have to worry about tightening the bolt because it's not going to go anywhere. If it's upward, it won't fall out. And now, uh, tighten all the bolts up. Uh, I prefer to just go around it with an impact and sock it to them all. They're all big, heavy-duty bolts. They can take it. I'm not talking about the wheels. You've done all that. Just the, the bolts on the Harbor Freight lift. Uh, uh, get everything tight. And you know, let's, let's look her over here. At uh, this point, it's, it, it's uh, looking pretty good. I'm going to show our colors. We're going to put on our Dung Beetle Equipped uh, sticker. Now, this reminds me of back in the 60s and 70s of the Holly Equipped stickers. Everybody had them on their car. So... Proudly display your Dung Beetle Equipped sticker, and here you have it, uh, a ready-to-go uh, Dung Beetle built from the Dung Beetle Crane Universal Kit and a Harbor Freight two-ton uh, engine hoist. And with this, uh, you can pull it with your lawnmower, your, your pickup, your car, your golf cart, your power chair if you need be. And there's just amazing things you can do with it, as you've probably seen in, in, in the many videos that are out there and are to come. So... Uh, I'm Rob Street. Thank you very much.